As a government, we gave banks the opportunity, some of them will steal money, and today we are neck deep in Amcon with funds stolen by major people in, in, in this country. I don't know how it will look like, but it is very important, Mr. President, you lead the Senate to have a national summit on livestock development and then the subsequent uh, insecurity that we face. Hello, my great and wonderful people. People, we welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today, we get some videos for our team. We're going to be saying one quickly the review to you concerning the things going to be saying if they happen right now for this country, Nigeria. Just as you rightly see some from the introduction, the video going to be saying with the receive from the former president of the Senate, what it be saying in the name of Lawan. Yes, I believe see all of Nasabi Dama, when it be saying that be the Senate president, for the eight years of Azuma Buhari. You get the reason why BC will bring this small video come. Yes, and now it don't do for the floor of the Senate. They ask and also they make demand concerning the things when they say, in Belize, say, you know, they go where. And this one has something when they say, this man get rights as a Senate president to institute law to stop for his own eight years when Buhari to be president. He not do anything. Now, if they propose the support motion to make sure, say, Akbabio lead the motion or make the law to make sure, say, it stops or certain things. The question will be say, we want to use this time to ask Amelawan, this coward Amelawan, not pass, be say, why you not do it during your time? When you take sit down for there as the Senate president, although I'll first of all leave you, make you watch and listen to all your own speech. When it be say it bring about waiting with the makers they talk right now. I will come back for Ahmed Lawan. My name is Ahmed Lawan. I represent Yobe North. Mr. President, let me commend our friend and brother and colleague, uh, Senator Isaac Brin for this, and of course, condone the people of his senatorial district. We are all aware that the clashes between the husbandmen and farmers has been a very long-standing phenomenon across the country. And the banditry that subsequently came into play has caused a lot of life. And Mr. President, there is no section of this country that has not or does not suffer from this. Initially, most of it was happening in the north. But today, it has consumed the entire country. So to me, Mr. President, this issue is a security issue as much as it is an economic issue. And when we discuss this, I think we should have no hold back. And I mean here, we should say it as it is because we are looking for solutions. Some of the things I may say may not be pleasant, but I'm convinced that they will help us in finding lasting and enduring solutions. Mr. President, we must continue to protect the lives and property of our citizens. This is the most important essence of government that we all know. But like one of our colleagues here have said, Mr. President, the history of how the has men particularly the Fulanis, turn from harsh men, real harsh men, genuine harsh men, pastoralists, into some of them being bandits today, killing across the country, will give us an idea of what happened. Here you have a people 
who don't have any means of livelihood, but to rear their animals. And like we all know, certain things happened. Animal or livestock wrestling or cattle wrestling, many of them lost their cattle. Most of them. And of course we know that they don't know any other thing. So, Mr. President, today as it is, the livestock industry is worth 30 trillion naira. In fact, some authorities will tell you it's 30 trillion naira in Nigeria. So this is a very important industry. And we cannot neglect it. While we deal with those who kill our people, we must be looking at the possibility, the necessity and imperative of making government, the federal government particularly, to see how to resuscitate the lives and livelihood of those who are willing to remain within the boundaries of the law. Somebody will tell you, well, it's business. What can be more business than banking? As a government, we gave banks the opportunity, some of them will steal money, and today we are neck deep in Amcon with funds stolen by major people in, in, in this country. They say it's toxic, so government of Nigeria should take. Nigerians, is your responsibility. We gave money to this course and gen course, Mr. President. This course was sold, all the 11. And even after they were sold, privatized, government was still giving them money, up to 1.4 trillion. Why should we do that? This industry, the livestock industry, Mr. President, Mr. Mish colleagues, it's a major industry. We have to have a way, and I like the idea of conducting a national summit. We, I don't know how it will look like, but it is very important, Mr. President, you lead the Senate to have a national summit on livestock development and then the subsequent uh, insecurity that we face. I don't know when those who know better will sit and come up with something. But let me round up, Mr. President. I believe that we have to be very decisive funding our security agencies to protect our people and their property. But I also believe that government should have a responsibility. The government should take the gauntlet, provide something to resuscitate the lives of the people who didn't know anything but tiring of animals. Thank you very much, Mr. President. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe you are listening to the full speech of Amelawan. We're not tossing a bat in talk. No. Every suggestion when you see him bring, now good one. Wait till they get us angry, not pass, be say. Amelawan, you deter a pub, you see. Make him make sure say he lead the motion. He lead the Senate as the Senate president to make sure say he make or implement this law when it will stop all this fulani for the killing is going to be seen if they go on, right? Then may we ask you, this killing just start now? That is one. The second question on no pass, be say, you make mention of something, say, government give money out to people, and at the end, they thief all those money. Amela one, you know the Senate president going to be say, you they approve, uh, approve loans for Buhari, and at the end, we know the see project, we know they say they use and they carry out, Waiting you do. Waiting be the law when it be say you make to make sure say you bring those people to justice. I'm allowing. This one, another question. You see the reason why we say we already tell us say when una get on our own time, make una utilize and where because time na seasonal. Nobody will be say in particular get the whole time for your own self forever. Sure, you don't become a floor member of the Senate now. Remember, say eight years na in you sit down, they make the final say. For this same House of Senate. Why you not utilize that your time? This uh, situation will be the complaint, but now they for grand, even before that it is on BC you come. Yes. People elect you as the Senate president for you to come con change things. You will work person, and now you the third person make it do one. 
why you not do one? Okay, now because say it they affect your people, the full learning people. Now it make you not do one. Now another person don't sit down for dinner. You believe say now it be the right person to do one. Abi, if now another person they talk now will be say he never handle that seat now. I know we talk, I know we get problem. No be you people like you not supposed to even they stand up, they make suggestion to anything for the House of Senate. You know why? Because the time when you be say yes, you're supposed to get the right to change things you're not doing. Now you don't they outside the courts, they make suggestion. Now now your eye open. Abi, the time when you be say you take the Senate president, your eye not they open. You don't know say problem like this. Lord, they when you be say supposed to stop them. You don't know say yes, senators, there be people who be say that they're responsible to make laws. When they say you're supposed to stop problems like this, you don't know. Now now you can't know. Abi, now now you can't read them. See, it will be hard for this country to really work. Yes, it will be hard because we don't want to make law. We don't get the courage to make law or do things when they say yes, we know say it they right, irrespective of who it will affect. Every one of us, they try to fight for our own. When we know say yes, it they wrong, we know we try to talk and write because say it will affect our own. But when it comes to the test of another person, we will stand strong. To make sure say we talk, say me we kill her, me we kill her. You know we will ever work like that. If we get this mindset and it continue like this, no way when it be say this country will move forward. Now the reason why we say we break this message now it be this very one. All right, now so talking concerning this matter, we'll leave you to share your own opinion with us on the comment section, even as we draw the line of this broadcast here. And before we say final goodbye, one quickly you this minute to appreciate you for your time when we sit stay with us up to this very moment. God Almighty will bless you. And equally, the way when we sit today, help us share this broadcast, your likes, your comments, all of them we appreciate them. I beg not forget to appreciate this very one so that if you see our brothers and sisters all around the world because we believe we want to say information, not power. And as we do so, God Almighty will bless you. We'd we'll like to draw the conclusion of this program here. We'll see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye bye.